Here are some of the programming languages that we use in the data industry. We got a comment on one of our videos asking us what language should we be using to build data products? And in a sense, this is the wrong question. And I wanted to illustrate this by showing you all of the languages that I use on a reasonably regular basis. I already shot one video or one draft of this video and it was far too long. So that's why they're all just here. And we're gonna run through them one at a time and look at its strengths and weaknesses because the true answer to that question, what language should I use to build a data product, is actually quite complicated because you're looking at a whole variety of languages, all of which are used for slightly different things. Because it's way more important to understand the strengths and weaknesses of a language and apply it where it's correct to apply that language than it is to look for like one big holy grail of a language that you should learn. However, speaking of one big language, we of course have Python, which I use basically every day in my job as a data engineer or scientist, because it's incredibly flexible. It can do loads and loads of different things. You can orchestrate processes in it. You can do lightweight web development. You can, of course, do data science and machine learning in it. But the other one that we use day to day is SQL. SQL, it feels, has been around for millions and millions of years. It's certainly been around for longer than I, and statistically you, have been alive. And if you want to orchestrate big data processes, the language that you're doing that in is SQL. We then move further down into the honourable mentions. Speaking of orchestration, Bash and PowerShell. Bash for moving about data and orchestrating Linux and Unix based machines. And if you're in Azure, it's likely you're using a Windows machine. So you want to be able to control that using PowerShell. Down the bottom, this, there's a line about here, which is these four I use regularly day to day. The ones below that line are ones that I personally know and use in my personal projects or have used in my uh, job at a previous place, but I don't use them day to day now. I got my start in C over 20 years ago, and oh boy, is that a nightmare of a language. It's not really used in production systems in the data industry anymore, but there are other things that it is used for, and an understanding of the algorithms that it brings to you is incredibly useful. R is a statistical language, and they can that, that can be used to do things easier than can be done in say like Python and SQL, if you're doing proofs of concepts and things like that. And then I also carry around Go. I like Go, it's used in heavily networked environments where parallel processing is imperative. The final honorable mention I wanted to put at the bottom, not strictly a language, but infrastructure as code, a knowledge of BICEP and Terraform, because you're gonna have resources in the cloud and you will want to orchestrate those.